What if students were able to make a change for poor regions of the world with a small-scale intervention in architecture? We are two master students who are graduating in architecture at Tudelft. Our goal is to make such a change by designing a multifunctional community center for a poor rural area in East Africa. The design will have the potential to act as a pilot for other rural communities. Together with students from all over the world and the local Kenyan community, we will build the community center with our own hands in spring 2016. The project is financially and conceptually supported by professors and mentors from TU Delft, the Kenyan NGO Sustainable Rural Initiatives, and the student organization Students for Sustainability. Together with their support, the first pilot we will build in West Kenya, in a village called Okana, next to Lake Victoria. Our society, especially in the rural area, is still very much communal. We share a lot of things, we share our happiness, we share our grief with everybody within the community. For a, a child growing up in Europe, you are very certain of so many things. You are certain that you'll get food at home, that you'll go to school, you'll get good health care, but everything is uncertain on our side. There are very simple and important things that are not available in Okana, for example, access to internet. When I look at the percentage of uh, people in Okana who are uh, ICT literate is very low. Getting books is also a nightmare in this village. The reading culture is uh, really poor, especially among East young children, because they don't have books to read. Families have very tight budgets, meaning they can't even afford food all the time. The future for us is to invest in the young people to give them opportunities that will enable them to realize their potentials. One lady from Kisumu made a very important statement that can summarize this. She said that wherever you come from, your dreams are valid. And even those children in Okana, their dreams are valid, provided we give them the opportunities to realize those dreams. Our goal is to build an empowering place to share knowledge, build the relations and connect to the world. We call it a bank of ideas. The first community center houses ICT rooms to train children and teachers in using computers. It provides a library, office space, a tailoring workshop and shadow places to meet and discuss with an open water source. The regions around Lake Victoria have a tropical rainforest climate with heavy rains during the rainy season. The roofs should therefore catch as much water as possible. The tropical climate enhances the growth of local and sustainable plants such as bamboo, which can be used as construction material. The sun is shining intensively 12 hours a day and solar energy is converted by solar panels to empower and illuminate the building. Our inspiration comes from the local acacia tree. It's a popular meeting point for the whole community to discuss and chat. Underneath the tree, people find a shadow place from the bright sun and are protected against heavy rains. We translated the culture of the community and the characteristics of the acacia tree into an architectural roofscape, a pilot structure suitable for other areas. The roof becomes a building with individual functions underneath. By using the construction principle for a reciprocal roof from local bamboo, 
We create a pavilion with a roof surface that collects water and sun and provides natural ventilated spaces. The pavilions can be featured, clustered and copied in many ways according to the individual context. With just a small intervention in architecture, we can make a big change for other communities in the future.